Do you own your own router and want to keep using it when you switch your ISP? Did the ISP and systems on sending you their own router? They did? If so, I'll show you the easiest way to continue to use your preferred router. In this case, a Netgear WNDR4700. My new ISP is Sky. They used to be with B Broadband who allowed us to use our own router. Unfortunately, B were bought over and stopped the service. There are three ways to do this. If your new ISP router can be bridged, this allows all the connections to pass straight through the new ISP router, now effectively just a modem to your own router. This is the easiest option, but not all ISPs or routers support this. My new Sky router does not. Option 2. Assign a DMZ protocol on a new ISP router to your own router's IP address. This is similar to bridging and can be done usually via a simple tick box on the ISP router. Option 3. Add your own router as an access point. This means the new ISP router assigns IP addresses. Your router can be used for Wi-Fi and LAN access points and will have the DHCP protocol switched off although you may lose features on your router and port settings may need to be configured. It is still a fairly easy option if the options 1 and 2 are not applicable to you. I'm going to use option 2, the DMZ, and I'll show you how to do that here. This is the Sky Hub, the SR102 model, and this is my Netgear WNDR4700. And these are the two I'm going to use to set this up. So first of all, you need to set up your Skyhub. So set it up as per the instructions. Put your ADSL cable in here too, to your phone, and put your RJ11 cable to your computer via LAN in there. Now log in to the router. The details for the Sky one is shown here. Then change the IP address to 2. And that way the two routers don't conflict with each other. Now you remove the RJ45 LAN cable from your computer, like this, and plug it into the, the router, the WNDR, or whatever router you have. But you plug it into the internet port. Then you take one of the LAN ports and plug that into your computer. You then go into the attached devices list on your router, find out what your router's IP address is, as you can see here, ends in point 0.4. So we then go into the advanced sets on the router and enable the DMZ via this tick box and change it to point 0.4. And that's your done.